Hi everyone and welcome to Music Messages Tarot. Uh, before we get started today with the two new decks that I actually received this week, uh, I just want to share the song that came through. It's called Manic Monday. You may want to look up the lyrics of that song. I believe it's from the 1980s, late 80s or 90s. Uh, I'm going to be using this gold foil tarot deck and then the mini everyday witch tarot deck for clarifier cards today. I just received those this week. Um, I'm thinking that the song Manic Monday probably relates to how your person is feeling about you right now. You can see what the gold foil tarot cards look like. They're really pretty. I may use this as my main tarot deck going forward, actually, because you know, I just get such a nice feeling using it already. Just giving it a good shuffle. And let's see what cards want to come out and if they confirm the feeling I'm having about the song that I received. And on the bottom of the deck, we actually have the Page of Swords, which is spying energy. So your person very well may, very well may be, rather, up in their head, and as a result may be spying on you quite a bit. Uh, the Seven of Swords, deceptive energy coming out immediately. Let's see where we go from here. They may want to come forward, but they might be doing it in a deceptive way. That's just like an intro card for the tarot deck, not an actual tarot card. Just wanted to show you that. Um, we have the Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment. So definitely that's how they're seeing you right now. We have the Eight of Cups as well, which is moving on from an unfulfilling situation. So it definitely seems like your person wants to come towards you. They're leaving something behind that's not fulfilling to them anymore. But then we also have the moon here. And coupled with that seven of swords deceptive energy, I think there may be some things that they're trying to hide or they're not maybe going to be coming to you fully honest and straightforward. There might be something that they're ashamed of that they're leaving behind or that they don't want you to find out about. Let's try to get some more information on this. Definitely the moon and the seven of swords together is just somebody not being completely straightforward. Yeah. So I'm actually going to put the moon next to the seven of swords because I'm taking that as one part of the message here today. Just be cautious with whoever this is that you're dealing with. Um, you know, it's not def it's not necessarily a malicious intent, but I don't think they're going to be giving you all the information. Um, I, I get that they may be coming towards you or want to come towards you, but I don't know if they're going to be giving you all the information about their circumstances. They may be in another relationship that they're trying to get out of. That might be where that Eight of Cups energy is coming from. They want to leave that behind and come towards you, who they see as their Nine of Cups. But they might not be doing it. They might not be on the up and up. This is just another card, like an intro card to the tarot deck. I just wanted you to see what I pulled. It's not an actual tarot card, though. So I'm putting that to the side. Okay. And then we have the death card, which definitely makes sense with the Eight of Cups. Somebody is... It's transformative energy. You may also be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but it's transformation, change, and with the Eight of Cups, it's leaving something behind. So they may be leaving a partner that they're with or another relationship. We have the Hanged Man. Could speak to the fact that they have a new perspective on what it is that they want, which definitely seems to be you. Taking that Nine of Cups to mean you are going to be their emotional fulfillment, and that's how they perceive you right now. But let's get some more information on this Hanged Man card. Ten of Swords, which is a, a painful ending. That pretty much goes right along with the Death card and the Eight of Cups message that we received earlier. So this person's definitely coming out of a very painful situation. 
Um, they're coming towards you, who they see as their Nine of Cups. But like I keep saying, those first two cards um, in the top row there, the Seven of Swords and the Moon together, they're not revealing everything to you. Seven of Pentacles also came out, which pretty much goes right alongside the Hangman. They're thinking about how to come towards you. I think maybe that's what the hangman, hangman rather energy is here is them pausing to think about how to proceed because they are leaving something behind or at least wanting to. Um, but there is some hidden information here. You may be dealing with someone who maybe isn't always honest or isn't going to be coming towards you in an honest way for some reason. I'm going to be clarifying with that pocket everyday witch tarot deck to get some more information here. Sorry again for our cockatoo. She's just probably always going to be in the background making noise. So clarifying on the nine of cups, we have the two of swords. This is someone who I think is at a stalemate in their own mind, not knowing how to come towards you. They know they definitely want to, but they have to figure out how to leave the current situation that they're in. And they're not really sure how to do that. And then let's get one more clarifier on the Nine of Cups. We have the Hermit card, which makes a lot of sense. We have the Hangman and the Seven of Pentacles, so someone not knowing how to proceed. Um, and with the Two of Swords and the Hermit, they're just kind of going inwards, trying to figure out, well, how do I let go of the things that are hindering me from coming forward to this person? They know they want to walk away. They know that they have to probably have a painful ending to do so. I want more information on this hidden, uh, the secrets, the hidden part of this that you may, may not know about with the moon and the uh, seven of swords as well. So I'd like to clarify on that. I have the wheel of fortune, so karmic cycles. This person might be afraid that their past is going to catch up with them in some way or follow them. That's the sense I'm getting. They're afraid that their past mistakes or past situations, energy from their past situations, could be a relationship or something like that, is going to catch up with them or come with them as they're trying to break away and come towards you. I think maybe they're afraid something from their past is going to make them look bad to you. Let's see what else wants to come out. Eight of Cups again. I'm sorry. I didn't uh, I didn't say it as it came out. The Eight of Cups came out to clarify again. So we got the Eight of Cups twice. This person, whatever they're leaving behind as they come to move towards you, they're afraid that it's going to either make them look bad to you. Uh, we also have the Page of Swords again. So spying energy from this person. Yeah, I'm just getting the sense that Whoever this is, I don't think they have malicious intent, but um, 
they're being a little bit sneaky with how they're kind of spying in on you at this time. And I, I, I don't think they want you to have the full story maybe about their past situation, whether that be a relationship or something shady that they may have been involved in that they don't want you to know about. And they definitely don't want that following them into this new relationship with you, which might be why they're being a little bit on the sneaky or deceptive side. I just want to pull one more card to kind of tie it all together today. And it's the Four of Wands. And that makes a lot of sense. That goes right alongside the Nine of Cups. Four of Wands is stability, happiness, family. And Nine of uh, Cups is emotional fulfillment. So that is what they're seeing you as and wanting with you. I would just be cautious to make sure that you have all of the information about this person and whatever circumstances they're coming out of before you make any decisions about, you know, if you're going to move forward with them or how to move forward with them. Just because, like I said, you know, there's definitely some truths that will, that have yet to be discovered on your end. This person actively seems like they're trying to hide something from you for some reason. I don't think it's for a malicious reason, but uh, you never know. So I would just advise to proceed with caution. All right, that's going to be it for today's message. Uh, I hope it resonated with you. If you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would help us grow our channel. And other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.